Welcome back to Aerospot On Demand. I'm Kristen. And I'm Jake. And today we're going over the Echo One SOCOM 16. And you can find us on our website for $194.99. Yes. So just to give you a brief rundown on the SOCOM 16, it is actually a really good replica of Springfield's M1A SOCOM. Um, now, I've never actually seen this used in any sort of military capacity, but I can tell you I would appreciate having a shorter barreled M14 in the back of my MRAP. Um, just because full size, full length M14 is just that few inches it seems to make all the difference, especially when you're mounting and dismounting constantly. So um, now again, I've never seen this used in, used by the military. However, I have seen it suggested to be used as, say, a patrol carving um, with police departments. But um, I'm honestly unsure if any departments have picked up <laughs> a 308 <laughs> as a patrol carving caliber. So yeah. so funny. I definitely agree with Jake. A couple inches during the mountain dismount can really make a difference. <laughs> so to go over a few of the characteristics of this particular gun, um, I'm going to start with saying that I feel like the build quality on this particular model is a lot better than most mid-range M14s by other companies. Yeah, Echo One does a really good job as far as their quality control as what they release. So it's you're pretty much Echo One. I would trust them. I would definitely trust their brand. So another thing I really like is that the scope rail here allows you to add a reflex or low mag scope easily. Just make sure it has good eye relief. A little space. Yeah, uh, if it were me, i just run strictly reflex sight only. Now it does have a space and a screw slot, so if you want to actually mount a scope on here with a top rail, um, you could do so. And the charging handle is nice. It's a little, little rack going on. Good stuff. And yeah, I mean, other than that, it's pretty standard sling mounts for a two-point sling if you want one. Um, it really it has about the same range as any M4, so you're probably just going to go for the looks on this one. Yeah. Which, yeah. why not? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, very nice, uh, very nice rifle. I have, a, have one just like this as well. Um, I like using it outdoors, but it can be very, very easily used in an indoor environment as well. Now, what I also would like to note is that the, uh, the charging handle is pretty much there for looks. Um, as far as hop-up adjustment, it's actually right there on the inside. I actually really like how you don't have to pull anything back <laughs> at all. It's just very easy access as far as adjusting the hop-up goes. All right, so the SOCOM 16, um, as I was expecting, is gonna be, came in around 385 feet per second. Um, now, this didn't surprise me. I figured because it's an M14, it's probably going to be meant for an outdoor um, outdoor environment. Now the other thing that I dig about this is the the gearbox doesn't sound all like there's no winding or grinding noise that you'd expect from other Chinese brands like say JG or D-Boys. Um, it's very clean, very snappy, and it's actually incredibly quiet so it's not going to be giving away your position if you're if you're held off by say 100 feet or so. So as far as the star rating goes, I'm going to go ahead and give this 4.5 out of 5. What I really like is the fact that the SOCOM 16s are really compact and the fact that it's not an EBR and you really don't, I really don't need that much rail space. Um, that's pretty much all I need. <laughs> and it's also a lot lighter than any EBR. So this uh, plastic stock actually takes off, you know, takes a lot of weight down. So when you're running for extended periods of time in a field game, yeah, it definitely helps. Uh, for my star rating, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Um, I really like that it's compact, makes it a little easier for somebody my size to handle. I also agree with Jake that the plastic 
really helps with the weight issue. Um, I'm not giving it a five because there's just not a certain like glitter to it or something. I don't know. Like the certain, you know, there's always something that makes you kind of really love or not love. I really like this. I don't love it. All right. Thanks for tuning in to Airspot on Demand. I'm Kristen. And I'm Jake. We'll see you next time.